What's going on folks, it's me again, and this time I'm going to be playing as Seussville PC game characters on Hunger Games. And I must warn you home viewers, this is not for kids. You ready? Shall we begin? We shall indeed. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Elma Sue takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Gerald McGrew runs away from the cornucopia. Strawberry Jellyfish runs away from the cornucopia. Baby Kangaroo stays at the cornucopia for resources. Mother Bippo no Bungus runs into the cornucopia and hides. Horton runs away from the cornucopia. Queen Sneasleby finds a bag full of explosives. The Lorax takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. The Baby Bippos run away from the cornucopia. Mrs. Snub takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Elma Sue's mom takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Pops Cubs run away from the cornucopia. East Beast runs away from the cornucopia. The Brown Barbalots, Pop, Mother Kangaroo, and Maisie form a suicide pact, killing themselves. West Beast grabs a backpack and retreats. Fox in Socks breaks small turtles' noses for a basket of bread. Cat in the Hat runs away from the cornucopia. Yertle the Turtle runs away from the cornucopia. Bumbletub Repairman grabs a jar of fishing bait while Wickersham Monkeys gets fishing gear. <coughs> Yertle the Turtle kills Wickersham Monkeys with their own weapon. West Beast sprains her ankle while running away from Cat in the Hat. East Beast camouflages himself in the bushes. Elma Sue's mom begs for Mrs. Snub to kill her. She refuses, keeping Elma Sue's mom alive. Horton begs for Fox and Socks to kill him. He reluctantly obliges, killing Horton. <laughs> Baby Kangaroo kills Bumble Tub Repairman for his supplies. Strawberry Jellyfish sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Queen Sneasleby and Elma Sue split up to search for resources. Pops Cubs go hunting. Gerald McGrew receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. The Baby Bippos go hunting. Small Turtles question their sanity. The Lorax tends to Mother Bippo no Bungus's wounds. <laughs> Let's carry on. Fox in socks, Mother Bippo no Bungus, and Cat in the Hat sleep in shifts. East Beast, Baby Kangaroo, Queen Sneasleby, and the Lorax sleep in shifts. Gerald McGrew begs for Yertle the Turtle to kill him. He refuses, keeping Gerald McGrew alive. Pops Cubs and Mrs. Snub sleep in shifts. The baby Bippos stay awake all night. Elma Sue sets an explosive off, killing Strawberry Jellyfish, West Beast, and Elma Sue's mom. <gasps> Small turtles receive medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Small turtles stalk Cat in the Hat. Pops Cubs camouflage themselves in the bushes. Baby Kangaroo picks flowers. Gerald McGrew taints East Beast's food, killing him. The baby Bippos overhear Yertle the Turtle and Fox in socks talking in the distance. Mrs. Snub diverts Elma Sue's attention and runs away. Mother Bippo no Bungus dies from hunger. The Lorax diverts Queen Sneasleby's attention and runs away. My goodness. My, my. Pops Cubs beg for Fox and Socks to kill them. He refuses, keeping Pops Cubs alive. The baby Bippos climb a tree to rest. Mrs. Snub, Gerald McGrew, and Elma Sue discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. The Lorax screams for help. Small turtles lose sight of where they are. Cat in the Hat receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Queen Sneasleby, Baby Kangaroo, and Yertle the Turtle get into a fight. Baby Kangaroo triumphantly kills them both. Gerald McGrew hunts for other tributes. Cat in the Hat tends to Mrs. Snub's wounds. Baby Kangaroo, the Baby Bippos, the Lorax, and Small Turtles raid Pops Cubs' S camp while they are hunting. Elma Sue goes hunting. Fox and Socks is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Acidic rain pours down on the arena. The Lorax injures Gerald McGrew and leaves him in the rain to die. Small turtles survive. Fox and Socks refuses the baby Bippo's shelter, killing them. 
Pops Cub shoved Cat in the Hat into a pond of acidic rain, but are pulled in by Cat in the Hat, killing them both. Elma Sue survives. Mrs. Snub survives. Baby Kangaroo trips face first into a puddle of acidic rain. <laughs> Let's carry on. The Lorax attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Mrs. Snub and Small Turtles tell stories about themselves to each other. Fox and Sock sees a fire, but stays hidden. Elma Sue goes to sleep. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Small Turtles decide not to go to the feast. The Lorax, Elma Sue, and Mrs. Snub confront each other, but grab what they want slowly to avoid conflict. Fox and Sox dies from an infection. <laughs> my, my. Small turtles receive medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. The Lorax fishes. Elma Sue and Mrs. Snub split up to search for resources. The Lorax sets up camp for the night. Mrs. Snub stays awake all night. Small turtles are awoken by nightmares. Elma Sue tries to treat her infection. The Lorax receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Elma Sue questions her sanity. Small turtles travel to higher ground. Mrs. Snub makes a slingshot. Elma Sue, Mrs. Snub, the Lorax, and small turtles tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. The Lorax runs away from Mrs. Snub. Elma Sue sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Small turtles fall into a frozen lake and drown. <laughs> The Lorax quietly hums. Mrs. Snub dies trying to escape the arena. Elma Sue tends to her wounds. Elma Sue kills the Lorax as he tries to run. <laughs> the winner is Elma Sue from District 2. That game was quite funny. I really do know that these characters are trapped in this game and have and wouldn't have anywhere to go. And I'm hoping you'll want to see me by then as we wrap up this gameplay till we play again.